but the most common one that we would uh, set up for MOH would be black and white because uh, it's easy to see the color contrast. Whatever that you see here in uh, white color, it means it's uh, very warm, very hot. Anything that you see is dark color, it means it's cold. So the colors represent uh, whether it's hot or cold. So generally, if you, if you see uh, the hair cut here is colder, and then you can see where the, the, the hot spots are uh, uh, in the face now. How sensitive is this piece of equipment? If you just take a look at the nose, can you see that the, at the nose area it changes, uh, it changes, uh, you can think of the way the, the, the spot, you know. Uh, can you see the, 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 the nose area? It becomes darker and it becomes uh, brighter. Now, the reason for this is that as we breathe in, it's uh, it's hotter. So, sorry, when we breathe in, it's cooler the, the other way around. When you breathe in, it's actually cooler. So, you, when you breathe out, because the air is coming from, from uh, the inside of, of your body, it comes out, it's hotter. So, you can even see somebody breathing. There. Um, I'm, I'm transferring heat from my hand, my palm to the book's pages now. You can see in the image over there, despite me having uh, raised my hand, there's still the, 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 the image of the residue uh, heat on, on, on the page. So that's how sensitive you can see. Even, even pages after this, you can see even the subsequent pages because the heat has gone through the pages, so the piece of equipment is so sensitive. It is done. Uh, if, we, if I may, right. on the other hand, maybe uh, James, you set the, the. I'll show you how it looks like for a person who is having a fever. You set the, the, the isotherm a little bit lower. Actually, looking at the, the thermal images, this is actually what they will see if a person who is having a fever. So <clears throat> it becomes very simple. So you can have a crowd of tens of people in, in the image. As long as somebody who is having a, a, a face like this, that, that is showing a red color, so then you can accurately identify the person. Aha, this person is having a fever. Mm -hmm. Because the other person who is standing next to them who, who does not have a, that, that fever symptom would not be showing the, 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 the red color. And to, to help um, stem the inflow of, um, of uh, people with carriers, there's no 100% certainty that it can be kept out, but we are really using the best technology combined with the best know-how right, to, to protect our borders as much as we can. Of course, ideally, if you, have, if you have a system that can detect someone with a virus, yes, that would be the best, right? If you don't have a system that can effectively screen a person just like that for, for the virus, you rely on the second best uh, method, which is to, to look for people with, that are exhibiting uh, the symptoms, the fever symptoms. So this would be the technology. This is the most trusted technology at this juncture. Mm -hmm. So we want to assure that uh, the, the general public uh, it is not just hearsay, it, it is proper technology uh, with proper tech, coupled with proper technical know-how and we have been successfully helping with uh, uh, keeping various uh, uh, diseases out, H1N1, MERS, SARS, Ebola, Zika, I, I don't know. So, so as the years went by, uh, MOH uh, personnel became more and more familiar and they became more and more confident of the, this type of solution. So each time you hear uh, in the news, when uh, health uh, ministry people said, yes, we are doing the uh, screening, I'm sure you will hear them, they said, yes, all our thermal scanners are at the borders and they are effective, they are up running and we have we are really set them up and so on and so forth. Right? But of course, granted, the 54 systems that they currently have is insufficient, so they are, they are in the process of adding more and more mm. to, to, to ensure that there's the sufficient uh, supply. Mm. So I would appreciate the, uh, the, the, the press to disseminate the right type of information to, to, to the rakyat, at least to inform the rakyat. Uh, it's, it's not just for show, 
this type of systems actually do work, and it's not something very difficult. I'm sure if you take the image the here, the case, if, if you can explain to, 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 to the readers, uh, all the persons that have seen is that uh, uh, red, red uh, uh, pixels that come out in the image, then immediately you can identify this uh, person is uh, having fever symptoms. Mm -hmm. So you cannot escape uh, this type of detection. Of course, I can't help it if the system shows this, but the MOH personnel who sees this, if uh, they don't want to do anything, I, I, can't, I can't help that. But at least from a technological point of view, uh, it is absolutely impossible for somebody to, to avoid the detection. So it's effective screening. At least 100% of the people who goes past this system, I can guarantee you, you'll be effectively caught. When, if even if the person is, if you think that you have blocked the 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 uh, your face and uh, that the thermal cameras cannot see, even even if they are wearing a mask, I'm sure you can see that the uh, the red spots will still will still show up. Mm. So we don't need to look so difficult to try to identify the person's body temperature. All I need is that. I see red color spots like this. So even if the most minute amount of it, uh, you can't cheat the camera. Mm. The camera can just see it just like that. How if I cover all my body? <laughs> then, then I cannot do anything. <laughs> <laughs> that, then there is the case that still can escape? Yes, if, but if, effectively, the, the, okay, I, I, gotta, I gotta take that back in the sense <laughs> that there yeah, are those Middle Eastern uh -uh. Ladies yeah. who completely cover everything and they they Left on the eyes. Uh, in the in the past, uh, how we did it is that we ensure that when they are coming through the, the the screening areas, minimum they still have to remove their glasses. They can be wearing everything else untouched, but they cannot uh, they cannot. Uh, even cover their eyes with the with the spectacles, mm. so they must be at least a small area uh, uh, that can be screened. So, at the very least, uh, the eyes cannot be covered by 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 the the the, 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 the spectacles, uh, the glasses. As a matter of fact, if you if you look here, the easiest and the most hotter spots uh, are always around the, the mm. eyes area. So as long as the eyes area are not not covered. It's quite easy to, to pick them up, even mm. if they try to cover the, 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 the body uh, mm. so much. Mm. So, so.